the battle inside is the battle of the mind because the soul consists of the mind your will and your emotions the mind is the seat of wisdom and if you are going to make progress in life you must exhibit better wisdom for the level where you are now then you will be promoted to another level you move from where you are to a better level by wisdom your mind is so powerful it is the most powerful thing that God has given you so powerful that it can make it can make you a billionaire and so powerful that it can make you a zero -nair. it can make you so broke or so rich so before we fight witches that are coming from outside let's identify the witch that is inside the witch which is your mind your mind can be the thing that is bewitching you every day your mind can be the thing that is bringing losses in your life every day your mind can be the thing that is bringing enmity between you and god it is so powerful the mind that god has given you is so powerful that he says come let us reason together God calling a man and they say, I put something in you that can be able to reason. We can rub, we can rub minds. What I have put in you is so powerful that even me, God, I am willing to have a conference with you, a meeting with you, and we reason together. And then he said, if you are willing and you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. He is saying the good of the land is not up to me, but it is up to your mind, willing and obedient. Which means even if God wants you well, if your mind is not in agreement, there's nothing that God can there is nothing that God can do. If God wants you well and your mind is speaking a different language, God will fail. If God wants you prosperous and your mind is speaking a different language, God will fail to make you rich.